In this video I'm about to run some tests on my own garage remote control. It's all part of understanding and improving my home security. The first method I will show you involves capturing the signal from a distance beyond the garage door reception capabilities. And then I will replay it when I'm in front of it. Using my flipper zero, I will capture the raw signal and replay when I'm closer. This is known as a replay attack. However, my recorded code will not be accepted again. Since my system is using rolling code, it means the passcode exchanged by the remote is only valid for one use. Now I will show you how it's really easy to desynchronize a remote control. I will use the flipper zero to capture from a distance beyond the garage door reception capabilities three signal and I will replay closer to the garage the signal in a different order. For instance, signal three, then two, then one. This action will lead to desynchronize the remote control. And I wanted to highlight the importance of having backup of the remote control and to know the procedure on how to resynchronize or how to add a new remote to your garage system. Because of course, it should be your own garage system and you must have an authorization for it. On my garage system, the process is straightforward. First, I open the box. Next, I press the learn button until the LEDs start blinking. Then I simply hold down the button I want to assign on my remote control. I'm conducting this test in a control environment using my personal remote. I'm situated in my basement surrounded by concrete walls to ensure that I do not interfere with any frequencies outside of my room. As you have noticed, I have the Evil Crowd plugged on a USB source and the remote control nearby. Now I kept all the frequency modulation and bandwidth by default because they match my remote control settings more context about the roll jam attack. It's operated by capturing and obstructing the radio signal from the remote control. When the signal is being blocked, the garage door do not open. And then the owner, me, will attempt another opening by pressing again. This results in a second signal that is also captured and being blocked. However, in this instance, the attacker, which is also me, will replay the signal to unlock the door. And then the owner, which is me, will not notice, but he will only think it's weird. I had to press twice. Here, like the explanation, before I'm going to actually record both attempt. First signal and second signal are saved. Also, what is really interesting, there is an option to save the second signal, which makes sense because that's the signal you want to use for later use. And here we're going to replace the first signal and voila, my door is getting open. Now I want to push things further and see if I'm able to generate rolling code using a new capture. And for this, I will use KGU, a rolling code analyzer and generator. And for this, I will need to use a pulse output from the capture. To perform the record, I will use Evil Crowd RF. Thanks to this web interface, it's really easy. I will navigate to record, then click enable, and then I will go and use my remote control and press the button I want to record. And voila, right away, I have all the different data I could copy. 
and here's the one that really interests us is a binary output I will copy this and paste it on Keju I've pasted my captured data into Keju and I will each search to let it do its magic now if it's successful in breaking the encryption it will unveil detail about the remote control here they are a bit different however since this process was completed I could anyway generate new valid rolling code with subfile compatible for the flipper zero let's sum up what could we do to mitigate those roll jam attacks I've thought about two scenarios but they might break the bank first one would be to use a new remote and receiver with a new chip with robust encryption that has been compromised yet but like I said it's a matter of time second point would be to use a two-factor authentication in addition to the remote control you could add to your installation a digital keypad or key entry system but that might be not quite handy and cheaper than both solution will be common sense to me you need to really watch out if you are not followed or if nobody suspicious is around let's say a black van or who knows where you are pressing your remote because then of course they could grab anything that's it for my journey testing my remote I hope this video was informative to you stay tuned and stay safe